Good morning, lions. Happy Wednesday to you. You are halfway through this week, um, and it's going to be a great week. So today is May 5th, um, also known as Cinco de Mayo. And today, Miss Weimer is out of the building. We do not have a sub for her. Um, everybody else, I think, is here. So what a great day. That's been a long time since we've um, had fewer than, you know, 10 people out at the same time. So yay, everybody's here today. Um, we hope Ms. Weimer will be back with us very soon. Okay, uh, today's lunch in the cafeteria, chicken nuggets. Tomorrow's breakfast will be an ultimate breakfast round and cheese sticks. The weather today is going to be sunny, 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 but there will be possible sun thunderstorms in the afternoon. Um, it's that time of year. Currently, it's, it's 41 degrees and feels like 36 degrees. Our expected high is 64. And you know, I forgot to check what lunchtime will be. Um, but while I'm looking that up, a couple of announcements. First of all, we will have nine o'clock rehearsal for the kindergarten, first, second, and third graders to do their um, music program. So that will be at nine o'clock this morning. Um, and at two o'clock, we will have our third quarter behavior celebration. So I know it's been a while, but in third quarter, if you didn't get any blue notes or write-ups, um, office referrals, anything like that, then you will be going to the third quarter behavior celebration. We do still have fourth quarter left. So keep making sure that you um, are doing the right thing and we do the right thing no matter what anybody else does and whether anybody's watching us or not. Um, so lunchtime temperatures, here you go. 59 to 62 degrees. So probably would be an okay day for you to check with your teachers and not have to take a coat out. Um, but again, if it's windy, you're gonna probably want one anyway. Okay, poppy pictures are due today. So teachers, if you haven't turned those in yet, um, please get them to the office. They are due today, they'll be picked up. And just as a reminder, I do still have some poppies. Um, if you would like to do a donation, we have some poppies and you can donate and get a poppy until we run out. So um, thank you very much for that. Um, hmm. No birthdays today, but we do have some celebrations or some other things that we can talk about. It's a great one for, for school. It is World Math Day. So maybe do some extra math problems or work extra hard during math or cheer while you're doing math today. I don't know, but it's World Math Day. So school is a perfect place to celebrate that. It is Cartoonist Day. I know we have some great artists in our building. Maybe they would, um, draw some cartoons. Museum Lovers Day, School Nurse Day, so um, we can celebrate Nurse Sierra even though she's not here, and also um, Nurse Nurse Johnson, she will be here today. Um, bike to School Day. Now, we didn't announce this and we didn't know, but I do know that there were two bicycles outside. Uh, both of them, I believe, belong to sixth graders. So TJ, in sixth grade and Hayden Chapman in sixth grade. Um, I'm just going to give some some uh, den points. So Superbia and Duma, you earned some den points for riding your bike to school. If somebody else rode their bike to school and they can show me their bike, then I'll give you points today too. Um, it's the great American grump out day. So no grumpy people around here, I hope. It is nail day, um, a day to decorate our nails. Um, I can't wait to see some of you. Some of you have fancy, fancy nails. It is Oyster Day. National Hoagie Day. Hoagies are like big submarine sandwiches. Oh, I'm yawning. Excuse me. Um, I think that that might be it. Okay, I think that that's it. But since it's the great American Grump Out Day, we have some great news and some jokes to help us be less grumpy. Um, so for the good news, we have Alexander Norton. He has completed his multiples. And a Stephanie Cook. Yeah. Um, a Stephanie Cook in Kaburi has completed subtraction models. So um, congratulations to both of you. And here we go. I know that I have several people who are still waiting for me to tell their jokes, but I have a whole stack of them. So I'll get through a couple. I might not get yours today, but that doesn't mean I've forgotten it. 
What do you call a boy with a dictionary in his pocket? A smarty pants. Okay. So why did the teacher wear sunglasses? Because his class was so bright. What school subject is a witch good at? Spelling. Why did the clock go to the principal's office? For talking too much. Okay, this one, um, listen carefully. Slightly inappropriate, but hey, we're gonna do it. The little boy says to his teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And the teacher says, only if you can say the alphabet. So the boy says, okay, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And the teacher says, where's the P? And the little boy says, it's running down my leg, teacher. I can't solve this problem. <laughs> okay, so like I said, kind of inappropriate, but a little bit funny. Okay, uh, did you hear the joke about the dinosaur eggs? It cracked me up. <laughs> what part of a fish weighs the most? It's scales. What did the duck say when he finished shopping? Put it on my bill, please. What do ducks watch on TV? Documentaries. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Water. Water who? What are we waiting for? Knock, knock. Who's there? Catch up. Catch up who? Catch up to me and I will tell you. Knock knock. Who's there? Leaf. Leaf who? Leave me alone. And our last one for today. Knock knock. Who's there? Ice cream. Ice cream who? I scream if you throw me in cold water. I would scream at that too. So, okay, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a very wise and wonderful Wednesday.